1995, the Hubble Space Telescope stared into a seemingly empty patch of sky, revealing thousands of galaxies, some over 12 billion light years away. The Hubble Deep Field stunned the world, showing that what appear to be the darkest regions of the universe are filled with light from ancient galaxies. It was a glimpse into the depths of time and space. Now, three decades later, a new telescope is pushing that boundary even further. In just one week, the European Space Agency's Euclid Telescope has imaged over 26 million galaxies, some more than 10 billion years old. The clarity of Euclid's deep field is astonishing. Perfect Einstein rings, intricate galaxy clusters, and even the faint filaments of the cosmic web. Euclid's mission is one of the most ambitious in astronomy, to map the hidden structure of the universe and uncover the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy. Where Hubble showed us the beauty of the distant universe, Euclid is revealing the invisible forces that shape it. Current observations tell us something intriguing. Everything we can see, stars, planets, galaxies, makes up only about 5% of the observable universe. The rest remains hidden, composed of two mysterious components, dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter makes up about 27% of the cosmos. It doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light, so we can't see it directly. Yet we know it's there. Its gravitational pull holds galaxies together and shapes the vast web of cosmic structures. Without it, galaxies would fly apart. But even more puzzling is dark energy, which accounts for about 68% of the universe. It's the force behind the accelerated expansion of the cosmos, pushing galaxies away from each other faster and faster over time. We don't know what dark energy is, but its influence is written in the large-scale structure and fate of the universe. That's exactly what the Euclid Space Telescope was designed to explore. Launched on July 1, 2023, from Cape Canaveral aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, Euclid traveled to the Sun-Earth Lagrange Point 2, a quiet spot about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. This location offers a stable, unobstructed view of deep space, and it is also home to other major observatories like Gaia and the James Webb Space Telescope. To peer deep into the cosmos, Euclid carries a 1.2-meter telescope that collects faint light from distant galaxies. But what makes Euclid unique is how it processes this light. It splits the light into two paths, visible and infrared and sends it to two advanced instruments on board. The first is the Visible Instrument, or VIS, a high-resolution camera designed to capture incredibly sharp optical images of galaxies across large portions of the sky. Thanks to its location in space, VIS can see details up to four times sharper than even the best ground-based telescopes. The second key instrument aboard Euclid is the Near Infrared Spectrometer, or photometer, or NISP. It works in the infrared range between 900 and 2000 nanometers, and it plays a crucial role in one of the most important tasks in astronomy, measuring distances to galaxies. Here's how it works. As light from galaxies travel through space, the expanding universe stretches that light, shifting it toward the red end of the spectrum. This is called redshift. The farther away a galaxy is in deep space, the more its light is stretched. By carefully measuring this redshift, NISP can calculate how far those galaxies are from us. So while VIS gives us sharp images of galaxies, NISP tells us how far away they are. Together, these two instruments will allow Euclid to create a 3D map of the universe helping scientists understand how cosmic structures have formed and evolved over time. After Euclid launched, engineers spent several months testing and calibrating all of its systems and instruments. The very first test images were intentionally out of focus to help fine-tune the optics. 
Euclid's science mission officially kicked off in early 2024, focusing its gaze on three carefully selected regions of the sky. These are known as the Euclid Deep Field North, Euclid Deep Field South, and Euclid Deep Field Fornax. These areas were chosen as dedicated long exposure targets, where Euclid will return repeatedly to collect deeper and more detailed observations over time. These first sky scans offer a preview of Euclid's full potential, and they certainly didn't disappoint. In just one week, with a single scan of each region, Euclid collected an enormous volume of data, showcasing its ability to spot faint and distant cosmic structures with stunning clarity. And here's the incredible part. The first round of observations covers only 0.4% of Euclid's total pan-survey area. But what exactly did Euclid find in these early glimpses into the cosmos? To find out, let's take a closer look at each one of these three deep fields, one by one. Highlighted in yellow toward the top left, this region marks the Euclid Deep Field North, a window into the distant universe. Its position isn't just random, it was carefully chosen to ensure year-round visibility, and more importantly, to overlap with one of the deep fields previously surveyed by NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. This makes it a perfect spot for combining data across multiple wavelengths. In just a single observation, Euclid's powerful optics captured over 10 million galaxies scattered across this field. Because this deep field lies relatively close to the plane of the Milky Way, it's also filled with foreground stars and even faint wisps of galactic dust, made visible thanks to Euclid's exceptional sensitivity. One of the standout features in this image is the Cat's Eye Nebula, a planetary nebula located about 3,000 light-years away. Formed from the outer layers of a dying star, in the zoomed-in view, it appears as a small, glowing turquoise shell among the stars. And beyond the stars of our own galaxy, every tiny dot in this deep field image is a faraway galaxy, like the beautiful barred galaxy seen in this frame, lying 400 million light-years from Earth. This brings us to our next destination, Euclid Deep Fornax. The Fornax field spans about 10 square degrees and is located in the southern constellation Fornax. Though slightly smaller in area than the other deep fields, this region is a scientific gold mine. That's because it overlaps the famous Chandra Deep Field South, a tiny patch of sky just 0.11 square degrees that has been studied in incredible detail over the past two decades by multiple ground-based and space observatories. Now, Euclid has widened that narrow window from 0.11 to over 100 times larger, giving us essential context to those earlier deep surveys. And the mission has big plans here. Euclid will revisit the Fornax field around 52 times during its mission, more than any other deep field, to build up deeper exposures and maximize its scientific value. So far, Euclid's first image of this field has already revealed about 4.5 million galaxies, along with bright foreground stars featuring signature diffraction spikes. As Euclid continues to collect data, scientists hope to uncover some of the faintest and most distant galaxies ever seen. With that, we arrive at the third and final deep field, the Euclid Deep Field South. Nestled between the large Magellanic Cloud and the Fornax Field, this is the largest of the three Euclid Deep Fields, covering over 28 square degrees in the southern constellation Horologium. This field was the most complex to select, mainly due to several technical challenges, but it hasn't been covered by any deep sky survey until now, which means it holds tremendous potential for new and unexpected discoveries and it's already off to a stunning start. In just a single observation, Euclid's South Deep Field captured more than 11 million galaxies in one image. All across the field, galaxies appear in different colors, hinting at their varied ages, compositions, and distances. But what's even more fascinating is its structure. The galaxies aren't scattered randomly, 
Instead, you can clearly see dense regions, filamentary structures, and web-like patterns, where long chains connect clusters of galaxies, tracing the invisible dark matter skeleton that holds the universe together. This field reveals two massive galaxy clusters, each containing thousands of galaxies, offering a breathtaking wide-angle view of cosmic architecture. And because this region has never been studied in detail before, these galaxies and the structures they form are even more mysterious and valuable to science. If you look closely, you'll notice something fascinating. An object surrounded by arcs of light. This is gravitational lensing. Here, a massive galaxy is bending the light of an even more distant galaxy behind it causing the light to curve and stretch around the foreground object. The amount of bending depends on the mass of the lensing galaxy. If the alignment between the observer, the lens, and the background galaxy is perfect, the light forms a full glowing circle called an Einstein ring. But when the alignment is slightly off, we see partial arcs or multiple distorted images. These are known as Einstein arcs. Einstein rings and arcs aren't just beautiful, they're powerful scientific tools. They act as natural magnifying glasses, letting astronomers study distant galaxies that would otherwise be too faint or too small to observe. These cosmic lenses help reveal the details of galaxy formation and evolution in the early universe. Even more importantly, they provide strong evidence for dark matter. The amount of visible matter in lensing galaxies is not enough to explain the degree of bending we observe. This tells us that there must be invisible mass surrounding these galaxies. By analyzing how light is bent, scientists can map where dark matter is and how much of it there is, giving us critical clues about one of the universe's biggest mysteries. Before Euclid, only a few dozen strong gravitational lenses had been well studied but in just one week, Euclid found over 500, and among them is a stunning highlight, a near-perfect Einstein ring first spotted during Euclid's performance verification phase in late 2023. This incredible ring appears around the galaxy NGC 6505, forming a glowing halo of light, but what you're really seeing is the warped image of a background galaxy located a staggering 4.4 billion light years away. Its light has been bent into a circle by the gravitational pull of NGC 6505. And here's the best part. Euclid captured this during its test phase, proving just how sharp and sensitive its instruments are. Beyond the deep field scans, Euclid has also released a spectacular 208 gigapixel mosaic one of the largest and most detailed views of the sky ever created. This massive image covers a portion of the southern sky that's over 500 times the size of the full moon as seen from Earth. Within this cosmic panorama, Euclid has revealed around 14 million galaxies, and the detail is astonishing. If you zoom in 600 times, you'll find a crisp view of a swirling spiral galaxy. Pull back a bit, around 150 times zoom, and you'll see that this galaxy is interacting with another, about 420 million light years away. These galactic encounters help astronomers study how galaxies grow and evolve over time. The mosaic also captures the core of the galaxy cluster Abel 2390, located 2.7 billion light years away. This is a colossal structure a gravitational powerhouse made up of thousands of galaxies, vast amounts of hot gas, and dark matter holding it all together. Euclid's sharp optics give us a stunning view of the cluster's dense, glowing heart. And this is just the beginning. In its first week of observations, Euclid covered only 0.4% of its planned survey area and still managed to detect over 26 million galaxies. To put that in perspective, the mission aims to observe more than 1.5 billion galaxies in total. So we're only seeing the tip of the cosmic iceberg. But Euclid isn't just counting galaxies. It's also studying their shapes and structures. 
Already, it has provided morphological classifications for about 380,000 galaxies using a blend of AI algorithms and help from the public through the Galaxy Zoo Citizen Science Project. In Galaxy Zoo, anyone can explore Euclid's images and help identify grand design spirals, edge-on disks, fuzzy ellipticals, and interacting galaxies with warped shapes. These classifications are incredibly valuable. They allow astronomers to track how galaxies change over time, unlocking new clues about their formation and evolution. Although Euclid wasn't specifically designed to study transient events, it has already proven its versatility by detecting supernovae, gamma ray bursts, and even quasars, objects that flash, flare, or shine with immense energy across the cosmos. These unexpected detections add an exciting new layer to Euclid's mission, showcasing its broad scientific potential. Euclid's initial data release has been hailed as a gold mine, offering something for everyone in the astronomical community. From its breathtaking images to its deep cosmological insights, Euclid's early results mark the start of a transformative era in astronomy. In the end, Euclid isn't just about data, it's about answering some of the most profound questions. What is the universe made of? How did it begin? And what will its future look like? Operating through at least 2029, Euclid will leave behind a legacy data set that not only maps the cosmos in unprecedented detail, but also serves as a foundation for future discoveries for decades to come. Recently, the Gaia Observatory revealed the most accurate map of the Milky Way to date. It's based on 3 trillion observations of over 2 billion objects in 11 years. If you missed the episode, make sure to catch up on this exciting milestone.